Hello, welcome to Home Cooking with Song Jit. Today I'm going to cook simple grilled stingray with lemongrass for dinner. I have two pieces of stingray or ikan pari. Today the fish is very fresh, so I thought there's no need to put in a lot of ingredients. We just want to get the maximum taste of the fish. So I'm just going to put in the lemongrass for a nice aroma. And I have salt and also a bit of oil. I like to start off with crushing the lemongrass because we want to get aroma out of the lemongrass when we grill the fish. Alright, I cut the lemongrass just like that and I'm going to put them in here and one by one I crush them. Okay, just like that. Lightly smash them. Next, I'm going to marinate the fish. I'm going to use salt from here and sprinkle the salt on the fish. To marinate the fish, salt intake, you just need to need to adjust yourself because I'm, um, depending on people, sometimes people like it salty. But for this one, we don't need to put too much salt because we're going to make the chili dip later on. Okay. So I marinate this fish with only one teaspoon of salt. I'm going to use the lemongrass, the piece that I smashed, just to wrap it on the fish, just like that. Alright, just like that. And then this balance, I'm going to put it as a base. And then we're going to put the fish. Like that. And I'm going to pour the oil on the fish. Because if we don't pour the oil, right, the fish seem to be very, uh, very dry after we, we grill it. So I just pour the oil a little bit. This is totally optional. Okay, this is my grilling pan. In the pan, just like that. Because I'm wrapping this way because the fish is big and <laughs> the banana leaf need to cover the whole thing. So I'm just going to use another banana leaf to cover it. Just going to use a toothpick to like um, plug them together. Just use a toothpick to uh, stick them together so they won't uh, come out. So I'm going to on the heat. And we're going to grill it inside here for about 10 minutes. And then after that we're going to open up and then turn the fish and grill for another 10 minutes. Alright, I can smell that like the fish is already cooked. Let's open and check. Oh, the whole house smells so good. Look at that. Ooh. Wow. Don't I need two spatula. Very nice smell of the lemongrass. See? If you don't put oil, it will stuck on the banana leaf. Just let me check if it's all cooked well. Alright, I think it's cooked and I'm going to leave it in the pot for another uh, another 5 to 10 minutes all right here are the ingredients for the sauce so i have about half a cup of uh, cut shallots some mint leaf two pieces of calamansi i cut into half so this is how it looked like and uh, one red chili cut into thin slices one tablespoon of thick soy sauce one teaspoon of sugar half tablespoon of fish sauce and half tablespoon of light soya sauce. Making the sauce is very simple. We're just going to need to mix everything together. But first we need to cut the mint leaf first. I have 
the bowl here. So I'm going to put in the shallot, chili, and the mint leaf. Add in the sugar, fish sauce, light soy sauce, thick soy sauce, and we're going to squeeze the calamansi. Hmm, a lot of juice. Then we just mix it. This sauce should be sour, spicy, with a uh, flavor of the shallots and the refreshing taste of the mint and a bit of sweet. So I can taste it. Wow. Ooh, very nice. Alright, the fish have been inside this pot for about 10 minutes. So I'm going to take a look at it. Wow, it's so delicious. The fish is very tender and there's no fishy smell at all and it has a very nice aroma of the lemongrass and been combined with the dipping sauce. A nice aroma from the mint plus the shallots, fresh shallots. Wow, it's very fresh. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please share with your friends and remember to subscribe for more of my easy cooking video like this. Thank you and bye-bye.